Pleasure during sex is not accidental. It is the result of a complex biological system involving nerves, blood flow, muscles, hormones, and the brain. In women, sexual pleasure begins in the pelvic region, where highly sensitive structures are designed to respond to stimulation. One of the most important organs involved is the clitoris, which is much larger internally than what is visible externally. It contains thousands of nerve endings and erectile tissue that become active during arousal. As stimulation begins, nerve endings in the pelvic area send signals through the spinal cord to the brain. These signals activate specific pleasure and reward centers, which interpret the sensations as enjoyment. At the same time, blood flow to the pelvic organs increases. Blood vessels expand, causing tissues to become more sensitive and responsive. This increased circulation is essential because it enhances sensation and prepares the body for comfort and pleasure. Hormones also play a major role in this process. During arousal, the brain releases chemicals such as dopamine and oxytocin. Dopamine is responsible for pleasure and motivation, while oxytocin creates feelings of bonding, relaxation, and emotional connection. Together, these hormones amplify physical sensations and create a sense of well-being and satisfaction. Another key factor is muscle response. The pelvic floor muscles relax and coordinate rhythmically, increasing sensitivity and allowing pleasurable sensations to build gradually. When the body feels safe and relaxed, these muscles respond more effectively. Emotional comfort, trust, and mental readiness further enhance the brain's response to stimulation, showing that pleasure is both physical and psychological. Ultimately, female pleasure is the result of a well-coordinated system where the body and brain work together. This natural response supports intimacy, bonding, and reproductive health. Understanding this process helps remove myths, reduce fear, and promote healthier, more respectful relationships based on knowledge and communication.